Turkey Locator Combo Pack. Uh, basically what this is, is we give you a two reed pup howler uh, to do coyote house, locate gobbles with, works great. Uh, we also give you one of our tie cut distressed diaphragms, which produces excellent crow vocals. And if any of y'all have turkey hunted before, uh, you know it's hard to beat. Uh, some good crow calls late morning to fire up a gobbler. It's hung up out there. It's tight-lipped. Uh, you're just wanting to go in there, uh, find out where he is before you actually start calling the setup on, on him. Uh, the crow vocals work great. And also in this combo pack, we're going to throw in one of our MFK Spur Slayers. Uh, you can't beat the cutting on this call. It uh, does real aggressive cuts and a lot of times, that's what it'll take, especially if some of these guys have been called to a lot. You can do these real aggressive cuts and you can fire them up and find out where he's at. And uh, we talked about it. We felt like these three calls uh, are going to be hard to beat as a locator pack. So you guys need to pick one of these up uh, if you're into locating your turkeys, which, I mean, if anybody's turkey hunting, you know that's an important part of it, knowing where they're at. Uh, I'll give you some demonstrations on each call just to give you an idea of what we're trying to sound like on these calls and give you an example of some of the sounds that can be achieved by using these. Uh, the best part is they're hands free. Uh, I don't know another company out there that puts out a crow diaphragm or can make uh, crow vocals on their diaphragm calls. Uh, I feel like this is one of these uh, kind of kept secret, but we're sharing it with you. I know Tori and I, we've been using this uh, to locate turkeys with for years now. And uh, pretty much all the people knew about was their buddies that they, they all want in on the action. So now we're gonna share it with everyone. Uh, so like I said, I'll give you some examples here and let you decide if, if you think you might be interested in one, just go to the website, www.mfkgamecalls.com pick you one up. The first call today in this turkey locator combo pack I'll be covering with you is the two reed pup howler. Uh, what you're trying to do is throw out a few lone howls. I like one long lone howl when I'm locating turkeys. I'm not out there trying to kill coyotes and I'm really not trying to blow a sequence up. I, I even want to call a coyote. You know, all I'm wanting to do is make that gobbler shotgun. And as many of you know, a good coyote howl is a perfect way to do it. Like I said, I usually stick to one lone howl real early in the morning, or also I try to use them right at dusk when the turkeys are flying up to roost, right after they've roosted. I'll throw out a lone howl, and usually that gobble will sound off. And I know exactly where he's at. I can move in there in the next morning, and he's as good as dead. So. I'll give you an example here of how I go about calling uh, in the morning or at dusk trying to locate a goblin. Like I said, I usually just throw out one lone howl and then wait and listen. Said my favorite time to use this is at dusk when you're trying to roost some turkeys. Uh, it seems like it works a little better. It'll work in the morning too, but usually in the mornings I'm not a big locator myself. I kind of like to just go out there and let them gobble on their own, but I mean that's every turkey hunter's different. I mean that's just personal preference. That's just how I do it, but like I said at dusk, roosting turkeys, this two reed pup howler, this turkey combo pack, can't be beat. <laughs> Next call in the turkey locator combo pack I'll be showing you is the tie cut distress. Uh, I use this tie cut to do my crow vocals. Uh, like I said earlier in the intro, not a lot of people do this. Uh, I, I used this at a competition a couple years ago and got excellent results from it. A lot of people started talking about it. Uh, Tori and I have been using these for a couple years now and uh, once we found out we could do good crow vocals on it, I mean I don't lug around crow calls, beating around, banging around. 
their hands free. I'm sitting there. I'll pop a couple of calls in my mouth, carry the shotgun, and that's it. I mean, I, we like to keep it simple. So I'll give you an example of the crow vocals I use. Uh, these seem to work better, uh, say, 8, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, a little bit of late morning. Uh, when you can't fire one up. A lot of times you can go in there with these crow vocals and it will make him gobble when he won't gobble to anything else. Uh, just a couple of examples uh, using this crow call, just how I use it. A um, little help on getting these vocals. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm applying a lot of tongue pressure while I'm going through the call, call, call. Then I kind of do a crow growl and it, ah, like that. What you want to do is sort of roll the back of your throat as you're blowing across the reeds and loosen your tongue pressure a little bit. You'll hear as I'm doing this uh, uh, what I'm talking about. And like I said, it's an easy call to learn. Uh, just listen to the listen to this video a little bit and kind of get an idea of what you need to sound like. But here's the crow vocals on the tie cut distress. especially when I'm locating the gobblers. Uh, so I'm like the more aggression uh, that you can put in that, uh, and those little growls on the end of it, that really seems to fire them up pretty good, especially late morning. But here's another example. Uh, like I said, if you crow hunt too, these calls work great for that. I mean, uh, just find you a good tight spot on a cornfield or something, get some cover, go to town on this call, in just a few minutes, you'll be covered up in crows. So here's another example. Uh, like I said, works great in the morning locating those gobblers. Turkey dive for his first layer is great for doing those aggressive cuts. Um, I compare it to using a box call. You now you can get those real aggressive cuts on a box call used for locating. The best part is you're not having to lug around the loud, noisy box call beating around, banging around uh, all day while you're trying to turkey hunt. Should you put this call in your mouth? Honestly, it's the only one you need to call your turkeys in with. So. Uh, I'll give you an example of some of the cutting that you can do on this first layer. Uh, give you an example of what it sounds like. So, uh, I usually like to throw in a few yelps uh, with my cutting just to make it a little more realistic. So, here's an example. sound like is just a real old raspy hen and most of those gobblers you do that they can't resist throwing a gobble out there as soon as they do game over you know where they're at you move in set up throw them a few soft calls they're as good as dead so that's the first layer from mfk game calls 
Uh, works great with those aggressive cuts to locate a gobbler. You can't resist it. Uh, that's the three calls in our turkey locator combo pack. Like I said earlier, the two reed pup howler for doing the coyote howls, the tie cut distress for doing crow vocals, and the spur slayer to do your aggressive cutting. Got you covered. If you do all three of those and don't hear a gobbler, he's probably not anywhere in the country. So, <laughs> uh, good luck this season. Be sure to send us some pics this year. Uh, post them on our Facebook page at MFK Game Calls. Uh, we love seeing the pics. Uh, just throw your MFK game call can right on them, snap you a picture, stick them right up there. So, again, good luck this season. We hope you fill all your tags and uh, hoping to see a lot of turkeys on the ground at the end of this year. Thanks. Thank y'all for watching MFK Web TV. And if you like the video, share it with your friends. Uh, but more importantly, be sure to go visit our website at www.mfkgamecalls.com. Pick up your MFK Turkey Locator Combo Pack. It's a set of three calls. And also, be sure to stay tuned over the next few weeks as we'll have more instructional videos. Uh, Tor will be covering each of our turkey calls, giving you some examples of the sounds, um, how to do the calls. And on every episode, uh, we'll be sharing an exciting hunt uh, from our season. So, and that way you'll get to see the calls in action and um, let the MFK game calls, let the video speak for itself. Hope you guys decide to try some. But again, thanks from all of us here at MFK Game Calls, and we hope you continue to watch.